I know how crappy it feels to be stuck in the social media rat race where you are constantly chasing views, likes, subscribers, potentially even paying customers, and you're trying every strategy, you've looked at every single tutorial on how to do this stuff, but nothing is really working, and you're feeling like maybe just giving up because it's just too hard and it's too confusing. I was exactly in your shoes 14 years ago. This was back in the days of MySpace and other social media platforms, but the concept was still the same. And I luckily stumbled into this amazing secret that most producers and musicians do not know. And it is essentially a hidden segment of the entertainment business and sort of connected to the music industry that allowed me to create full-time income with my music. But here's the most important part. It allowed me to completely bypass social media altogether. So you don't need fans, you don't need views, you don't need subscribers, you don't need any of that to succeed in this side of the business. And it's actually how I created full-time income for myself for the last 14 years. Do you wanna learn how I did it? Well, watch this video. My name is Jesse and welcome to my YouTube channel, Sync My Music. And this channel is all about sharing with you how I created full-time income by getting completely outside of the music business and getting completely outside of social media. So full-time income I was able to create without one fan, without one view, without any of that to my name. And I know that you can do it as well. So that's why I'm putting this video out there. If you want to learn about a completely different way to create income with your music, then you do not want to miss this video because I'll not only share with you the steps that I took to get started and how I succeeded, but I'm gonna share with you some helpful resources at the end of this video that should jumpstart your career and get you closer to whatever your goals are in your music career. So let me walk you back 14 years. When I first discovered this side of the business, which is called TV Film Sync Licensing, I was probably much like you. I had a band, I was actually signed to a little production label, I was actually being flown around and meeting with different CEOs of major labels. I actually was in a band that I felt was about to blow up and about to actually get on the map and get signed and create um, an actual career. But it didn't, so for many different reasons, that band did not get to that next level to start touring and recording records and selling merch and all that fun stuff that artists get to do. So, of course, heartbroken, you know, bummed out about all that. I was always looking for maybe another way to create full-time income. At that time, I was able to luckily, accidentally, meet somebody who worked in the TV film sync licensing business. This is actually an owner of a music library. Music libraries are essentially publishers in the TV film licensing world that take your tracks and help you get TV and film placements. So they are gonna be vital partners for you when you get started in this business. So I met this library and, and I met this library owner and I talked to him a little bit and I said, you know, what does it take to really do well in this business? And he basically broke it down very simply and he said, you just need to do two things for me. One, send me high quality music, okay? So don't just send me cheesy garbage, don't send me stuff that you just rushed, that you just sort of brushed through really quickly in your DAW. Send me the good stuff. Send me stuff that you really are pouring your heart and soul into. I was like, okay, no problem, I can do that. And number two, make sure that it is licensable. In other words, is it useful? I need to make sure that the music you're gonna send to me can be placed in the TV shows, movies, and commercials of the clients that I serve. So you could send me amazing music that's really great, but if it's not useful for them, I can't get it placed and then you can't get paid for it. So we gotta make sure that we are serving a marketplace that is willing to pay us. That's essentially the simple formula I was taught 14 years ago, okay? That's what's beautiful about this business is he did not say, oh, by the way, you have to have at least 10,000 fans. Oh, by the way, you have to have a pretty substantial Instagram or TikTok account. I gotta see what you're doing on your social platforms in order to get started in this business. He didn't care about any of that. And no music library that you work with in this industry is going to care at all what your social media numbers are. So if you wanna relieve yourself of that burden and stop the struggle, this is maybe something you should seriously consider and jump into with both feet. So right now I wanna walk you through three key reasons why you might wanna get started with sync licensing and why you may want to completely abandon whatever you were doing before you watch this video 
and jump full force into this side of the business. You, of course, you don't have to. You can basically dip your toes into this and see how you like it. But more and more, the more producers that I reach with this message, they are starting to realize that of all the effort they're putting into their music, they would rather send their music to people who want to value them by paying for the use of their music. So if that sounds like something that's useful and exciting to you, then please watch this video, okay? Number one, number one reason why you might want to work uh, in the sync licensing business, you can make your kind of music. So there's a lot of misconceptions out there that you have to make cheesy jingle music that's not really what you want to do or you have to completely you know sell out and make a bunch of garbage crappy music that's not exciting to you you can bring whatever style of music that you love producing to this business okay you produce rock pop hip-hop edm orchestral americana or country latin world i don't care what it is you're producing there will be a home for it in the sync licensing market as long as you steer whatever you're producing towards this business. There are some considerations you have to have. It's not just a matter of creating whatever you want to do, but definitely starting with whatever genre you love and then channeling it into a specific way so that it can be placed in TV shows, movies, and commercials. And I'll share with you some resources at the end of this video for how to do that. Number two, second reason why, why you might want to get started in this business. Most producers do not know about TV film sync licensing at all. In fact, I am one of the few YouTube channels out there talking about this business. There are plenty of channels telling you how to get more fans, how to get more likes, how to get a record deal, how to do this, how to do that. But sync licensing is still one of the best kept secrets out there. And so the good news of that is that it's wide open to you, right? So there are a lot of producers and musicians that hear about it and they might think, eh, that's for somebody else, it's not really for me. But what you know now, after watching this video, is that it is open to you. The music libraries that you're gonna partner with in this business have both doors open, and they are looking for producers and musicians like you to send them completed, high quality, and licensable music, okay? So it is available to you, it is very accessible, and you can do it all from your home studio. As long as you have a home studio set up that creates great, high quality music, and you've got an internet connection, which everybody does now, you can be a player in this business starting today. So that's really good news. You don't have to wait to get a viral hit or to get somebody to notice you or get featured on a blog or any of the things that you've been dealing with right now. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You can literally just start today creating high quality music and finding that company that you wanna partner with, okay? And number three, definitely one of the best of the three reasons you wanna maybe consider sync licensing, say goodbye to social media. Be done with it completely, okay? How good and how relieving would it feel for you to literally stop all that nonsense, right? And not worry and not be judgmental of yourself and not always beating yourself up because you don't have a lot of likes, you don't have a lot of subscribers, you don't have a lot of attention going your way. Even though you're pouring all this time and energy into your music, you're not getting it. Rather than finding the hack, you know, the strategy, the next YouTube video that's going to help you do that, rather than holding on to that sort of, you know, fictional belief, what about just letting it go? Completely realizing that there are other ways to make income with your music and get exposure with your music that do not require any of that nonsense. That's what I saw 14 years ago. That's what set me free. That's what gave me this amazing pathway for my music and allowed me to get better as a producer, allowed me to dig deeper into my craft and even fall more in love with music and not burn out because that's the story that I'm hearing more and more. And it might be the future of your music career very shortly if you don't do something different is it's the, it's the sort of rage quit where you've done it for a few years, maybe 10 years, 20 years, you rage quit because nothing worked and then the bitterness sets in and this kind of unhappy rest of your life begins. And I, I see this, it's really sad and I hate hearing about these sort of stories, but there's definitely, it's one of the most common you know, stories that I hear out there from musicians is the sort of rage quit and then the bitterness that ensues. So I am trying to do my small, small, tiny, tiny little part to reduce the, the number of bitter elderly musicians in the world by giving them this alternative path to creating full-time income with their music. So you don't have to be obviously elderly to get started with this. I was actually in my early 20s, but I have many, many students that are in their 30s, 40s, 50s, even 60s that are getting started. So this is actually applicable for any age. Again, like I said, they don't care about your age. They don't care about your social media. They don't care if you're marketable. They just care about your music, and that's really how it should be, right? So I'm gonna share with you a free sync starter course that 
If you wanna get started in this business, if you feel like this is exciting, if you are really ready to flirt with the idea of letting go of social media altogether and really just going for a segment of the industry that can pay you and reward you for the amount of work and effort you're putting in your music, then don't miss out on this free course that's gonna give you a complete overview of the TV film sync licensing business. It's gonna give you my personal strategy. This is actually what I did starting off my career and carrying me through the last 14 years that ensured I created substantial full-time income for myself. And I'm gonna give you the five biggest mistakes that I certainly made and that most producers that end up bailing out of this business and it doesn't work for them, they commit one of these five mistakes. So you can be aware of those starting today so you don't have to be caught by surprise one year down the road, two years down the road and realize, wow, I wish I would have been aware of that. I'm gonna make you aware of all of the really big pitfalls from day one so you can be prepared for that before you get started. So click on the link below, join me in that free course and please consider subscribing and liking this channel uh, and liking this video. I really do appreciate um, all of you guys that have subscribed and watched my videos on a weekly basis. I put out videos every single week, Mondays and Wednesdays. So I would encourage you and invite you to become our newest subscriber by clicking on that button below and please do introduce yourself in the comments. I love meeting new subscribers so I can't wait to hear from you and thank you so much for watching.